Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It is Rachel here with Makers Gonna Learn, your ultimate die cutting community. And today we're gonna be answering a question we get all the time. And that is, can we seal vinyl or should we seal vinyl on our wine glasses? Now, this is growing more and more popular. I think wine glasses are taking off or something like that. So um, I did wanna show you all uh, my thoughts on this and you know the products that you might want to use if you do or You know the products you might not want to use I'm just gonna kind of be this is kind of an open letter Okay, because as I'm answering these questions and trying to give you guys actual crafting advice I really want to just give you all my opinion through that So I will show you these wine glasses and share with you how you can seal them if you want to seal them But I'm just gonna be open and up front my answer to should I seal my wine glasses is no. Now, uh, I have several reasons for saying that, for suggesting that, all of which are aesthetics. Um, they'll either not be the same color, they'll have a ton of brush strokes, after you're done sealing it, any kind of little dirt or debris can stick on that and you're gonna see it. Because these are glass and you can see through them and they're perfectly clear, there is no good way to seal these. I hope I didn't disappoint so many people because I know all of you want to seal your wine glasses, but let me paint a picture here because a lot of people, millions of people, I mentioned this in another video as well, millions of people are driving around the world right now with vinyl decals on the back of their cars, on the front of their cars, on their bumpers, and they're out exposed to the elements and they're doing just fine. They might fall off eventually, but that's years and years down the road. I have stickers on my car that I've had on there for years and they are lasting a great amount of time. Um, they're not peeling up or wanting to peel up or anything like that. And your wine glasses should be no different. If you wanna make them dishwasher safe, or you want to you know, make sure they're sealed for, let's say if you have a customer that bought one, it's really just not ethical to seal wine glasses that are clear like this. There's just not a great way to do it. Um, the product I would recommend if you had to is this Minwax Polycrylic. Um, but it's still gonna create streaks. It's still gonna dry uneven to where you'll be able to see it. You'll still get little fuzzies and debris and dust in there after you apply it. Um, as it's drying, things will just gravitate to it and you'll be able to see every little thing. Um, the Mod Podge is way too thick. It is embarrassingly thick and will make your wine glass look terrible. I actually have an example here to show you guys on the other camera uh, of me sealing this and showing you just how bad it does look. And then the spray here, uh, again, it will spray unevenly. It doesn't create an amazing seal that we love and it won't make it dishwasher safe. You can't put polyurethane spray on here and make something dishwasher safe. It's just not gonna happen. Um, and then of course you have to spray it on there and then you might not wanna drink from it after that. I mean, it's, you know, it's a whole thing. So you're drinking on a wine glass and it's not like a mug where you have a handle and you're drinking from the same spot normally. You can drink from a lot of different spots on a wine glass depending on how you hold it. Um, so really all of these are not food safe because you can't kind of drink from it. Um, now none of these say toxic or you know something like that once it's dried and cured. All these should be fine. But if you're really worried about that and you don't want to drink wherever, um, drink from wherever this is, then you would have to like create a lip around the entire thing where you're not gonna add any of these sealers, which would stick out like a sore thumb because the sealer is gonna look so not great. And then you're gonna see that beautiful little clean glass of the top where you get to sip from and you're gonna be like, what happened? You know, I mean, it's gonna be crazy guys, I'm telling you. So we are going to go ahead on the second camera. I'm gonna show you these three products, show you our wine glasses, and just let you know that it's it's just not the best way to, to do this is to seal it. They're gonna last fine as long as you guys hand wash them and you know, don't let them soak in water or anything. These are gonna last you for so long. We promise you that it is worth just buying another wine glass and adding vinyl to it, rather than making your wine glass pretty darn ugly by sealing it with one of these types of sealers. Now, I'm not saying there's not a sealer out there in the world that would make these look great. Um, the one thing that comes to mind is epoxy. Epoxy probably would go on these super smooth. You can drink from them after they're cured and they would be great, but 
Who has the time to do that? You have to have a tumbler turner, you have to use epoxy, and a lot of people are turned off of epoxy right now because uh, it's pretty unsafe to use if you don't take the proper uh, precautions and safety measures. And I totally get that. Safety first, your health is what is important to us, which is why we kind of just took that out of the running. That's just not even a part of the video today. Um, and just a lot of people just don't have the means to use epoxy on their projects because you'd have to have that turner that turns it after you apply the epoxy. However, that would probably uh, dry and cure the smoothest and the clearest. It would still have imperfections. It would still have bubbles. It would still have some spots that were uneven. And on glass, there's just no real way to get around it. There's just no great way to seal it, unfortunately. All right, guys, so here we are on the overhead camera, and I wanted to show you this adorable wine glass, <laughs> guys. This says Acuna Moscato. It means drink wine, and how stinking cute is this? I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I'm trying to hold it in a way where you can read it well, because if I hold it like this, you know, like the words are kind of muffled and you can't really read it. So this is a really cute um, design here. Now this is not a cut file. So if you guys are a member of Makers Gonna Learn and you guys are yearly members because our yearly members are the only members who get access to fonts. You have over 400 of them to choose from. New ones are added every single month. And then cut files, we have over 4,000 of and all of our members get those cut files, but only our yearly members get access to fonts. So for those yearly members, I will let you in on the secret of this cute little uh, design here. Um, the words Acuna Moscato is from Spontaneous. That is one of our amazing fonts that we've had for years here. And then this down here, it means drink wine. This is a uh, Butterfly Kisses. This is such a cute little simple font here that you guys can see. It's just adorable. And then our arrow is just one of the arrows from Makers Can Learn. It's in like um, a multi cut file that you guys can see on there. If you search arrow, you can see it there. Um, so cute though, so cute. Um, yeah, so it's like Akuna Matata, it means no worries, you know, from The Lion King. This is kind of a little fun spin on it. I found that on uh, Pinterest and thought it was so cute to make. So that is, uh, this is just the wine glass. It's super simple, super clean. It looks awesome. Uh, the vinyl is not going anywhere. We cleaned the glass really well with our rubbing alcohol before we applied it down. And of course it applied flawlessly for us and it's not going anywhere. It's there, it's stuck on really well. And this is how it's gonna stay. This is how we're gonna use it. There's no sense in having to, um, you know, ruin essentially these wine glasses by um, sealing them. Now I'm going to scooch this one over and show you this one that I used um, the Mod Podge on. Okay. So this is the one with Mod Podge on it. And if you guys can <laughs> look at my hand back there, guys, look, look at my hand back here and back here. Look how cloudy it got and look at all those um, Look at all those uh, brush strokes, guys. That looks pretty, pretty terrible. You can see the side here where we kind of stopped because I wanted to show you the different side by side of the um, brush strokes here. So you can see where we brush stroked and where you did, where we didn't. You can see how clear it is over here. Um, and then these brush strokes, they just look bad, guys. This looks terrible. You, and it, it's made a good seal on it, yeah, but at what cost, guys? Like this is kind of odd. Now. The only reason this could be acceptable is if you were going for this look, like if you wanted it to be like a cloudy uh, wine glass, you could do that if you wanted to. It did seal it and it will make it dishwasher safe in you know, 28 days, that is the cure time for this guy here um, is 28 days, but it is worth it if you guys want to make anything dishwasher safe, it's a great product. But in my opinion, I want a nice clear wine glass that's gonna be simple and uh, you know cute to hold and all that. And it, this is just not it, this is not it. I'm, I'm not loving the look of that. And again, if you like it, that's fine, but it just doesn't look great to me. Um, so that is kind of the breakdown of that. Again, this will give you, let me push these back guys. Whoop, don't break them. This will give you a little less brush strokes, but will not essentially be um, you know, super durable and ready for the dishwasher and all that. Um, but it can seal if you need it to seal. Um, but it'll still make brush strokes. And then this, again, 
um, is not going to be that great. It will be uneven and it, it does actually turn clear or white things a color and it's a little, a little yellow. If you ever use this stuff on um, printable vinyl, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you spray this on there several times, you'll notice it kind of has a little yellow tint to it. But when you use it on something, you know, that's a different color, it's fine. But if you place that sticker on like a white mug, you can kind of tell a difference. Um, so these all have their drawbacks, but they all have their, um, you know, their, they, they all have pros and cons basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, however, I personally would not uh, seal them. It just doesn't, it doesn't, it, it's not necessary in my opinion, especially if you're wanting that clean glass look. These just don't look uh, very good or professional at all. And I know that a lot of people want to seal things that they uh, are going to choose to sell, but it's just not, it's just not really uh, recommended in my opinion. You can though, if you want to, personal preference. But I wanted to answer that question that we have gotten so many times, which is what can I seal my wine glasses with? What do I need to seal them with? Well, you can seal them with one of these three products if you so choose. The Dishwasher Safe Mod Pod, the Polycrylic, or the Minwax Polyurethane Spray. However, I would recommend not sealing them. But if you want to, make sure, make sure that you guys use a very soft bristled brush for both of these. Make sure that the bristles are super clean. Uh, try and minimize the amount of dirt and debris you're gonna get on there. And just use a little. You're gonna use two to three coats. I would say three coats of both of these, super thin coats. Um, allow them to dry about 30 minutes in between, and then you will be able to uh, let these cure and use them. Cure time for this guy, you should let him dry for several hours, if not overnight, just to be safe. And then this guy has a whopping 28 day cure time. However, that does make him super durable and super dishwasher safe. So those are things to keep in mind if you want to use those. And then for the spray, I recommend uh, placing the glass top side down um, onto, you know, I would say like, you know, let me think here, maybe a poster board out on your grass, you know, place it down and then take this, shake it up really well. If you want to get a clear gloss for this, that might be better for this type of, um, glass if you want it to get a bit glossy um it kind of stay glossy you know because this satin it'll be a little matte like this but you won't be able to see the brush strokes um so you can take it shake it up and then spray a couple of light coats on it outside in a well ventilated area and then try to allow it to dry out there but that is very problematic because one thing that we cannot control at all is the weather and if it's outside and the wind blows and it blows some grass up on it or you know you're out in your garage and some sawdust gets on it as it's drying you're going to see it instantly because this is glass you can't hide anything on glass it's different if you're spraying it on like a tumbler that you're about to glitter or something like that um, or something that's a different color but something clear like this is just way too tricky in my opinion and it's just not worth it to me these glasses are a dollar at walmart and this was a scrap piece of vinyl to me it's not worth sealing it's not worth the hassle and not worth um the look of it afterwards which in my opinion is not very good but again this video is not just about my opinion it is about giving you guys all the knowledge so that if you guys choose to uh, seal these yourselves you are well equipped to do so so i do hope that you have enjoyed all of the information all right guys i hope that you are not too sad or disappointed with my opinion on sealing your wine glasses i just do not do it i don't like to do it i already hated that i basically ruined this one by sealing it i am just going to probably toss this one out or maybe seal all the way around and maybe use it i'm not sure i don't really like it though but again it was just a dollar from walmart and you can buy packs of four um at other places online if you want to i will leave the links to these down below as well as the links to the cut files and fonts used in this cute little um design that i made so if you guys want to make it you totally can if you are a member of makers gonna learn um, which if you're not you need to be because you guys are missing out we have so much goodness over there if you guys want to be educated and inspired with your die cutting machine that is the place to be and we are the people to see so anyways guys i hope that you all enjoyed all the content in this the links below will be for these products 
products and I hope that you choose to seal or not seal your vinyl decals whatever you do whatever you know I just want it to make you happy so if you want to seal them please seal them um, I taught you uh, how you know soft bristle brush several coats wait uh, 30 minutes in between the coats or spray it upside down uh, several light coats over uh, you know letting it dry 30 minutes in between of course um, all of them have their pros all of them have their cons um, I love simple I'm just gonna put some vinyl on it make sure you clean it extremely well before you apply your vinyl down and basically you're good to go you're really foolproof it's you're probably gonna either break this or lose it before the vinyl even comes off honestly unsealed so that's just something to think about but thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed give us a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video and leave us a comment down below if you have any questions about these products or my methods or anything like that we love to answer those click that first link down below to see what you're missing with the membership and I will catch you guys in the next video